Hello, hello, welcome to day two. It's day seven, but it's day two of the um, using book pages and things to make our tags. So yesterday we finished the tags and today we are doing the front and the back. The reason I'm doing these separately is because this is going to be possibly covered up at the front and we need something a bit more solid at the back to make it a front and back cover. In a similar way to this one, I want to have something on the front to make it clearly the front cover of the tag book. So these don't need to necessarily be quite as fancy or as decorative. Now, <clears throat> this is the side that we are going to be attaching everything with. So if that's closed like so, this is going to be my front cover. I want my front cover fairly plain, okay? Because the middle of this tag is not going to be seen as much as the what's around the edge. So I'm going to start, I'm going to use, let's start with a little strip. Do I want a big? Now I'm going to go for a bigger piece. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. So I'm going to glue this, and that's been against my baby white. So I've got a little, I've got a little um, wet spot. I've got a wet patch. <laughs> and again, I'm not covering up my crease of my tag I'm leaving that blank now in terms of imagery I'm going to go for something simpler again so I'm going to just I've still got my still got my little cutter here so I know this is going to be a little bit off but I'm going to cut I'm going to cut that glue that into place I don't know how people cope with glue sticks I really don't because I'm terrible with them I just can't I can't really navigate them very well I know Gail and Rachel are pretty um, expert at using them me not so much okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some green, which again, like I said before, this is part of the, um, the end paper of the book. I was lucky this particular book had a colour and it ties everything in, which is great. Let's add that. And I need something across here, so I'm going to go for more text. I don't want to use such a big piece. I'm going to cut that down. Okay, I'm going to call that done because I'm going to have something over here. So I'm not going to go any further with that side. This side is going to be on the inside of the book because that's going to be the front cover. So it's going to be, that's the front. This is going to be next. And again, I don't necessarily want this too decorated, but because I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, I am going to look for something a little bit florally. So I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go for that, maybe that way round. So I'm just going to trim this a bit. I've got my trimmer just slightly off camera, so I'm going to use that over here just to make things... A little bit easier. There we go. I think I'm going to add some text first. Just trim that piece. Okay, and now I'm going to add some green space to that. Now, what I'm not going to do is add anything else to this as yet for the simple reason I don't know how this is going to look 
once we start putting our book together i might want to add words to this i might add a pocket i might add all sorts of things but at the moment i'm leaving it at the moment i'm leaving it like that the trouble with glue stick is it stays wet and sticky for quite a long time so i'm going to put this aside and not do anything to that now until that's dry and here is the back so this will be the back cover this is going to be the back cover and i want this to be a little bit more interesting Right, so that's going to be our back cover. Like I said, things will maybe get added to that, but at the moment I'm leaving it as that. Um, now I'm going to do the inside cover. And again, I want this a little bit more decorative um, because I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen on this piece as yet. And that is going to be our back cover and the inside back cover. And again, this will need to dry. These are now dry. They're a little bit bendy, but um, I just left these under some books last night and they flatten out perfectly well. So I'm just going to cut my corners the same way I did on the tags using the same guide. They will all match. Okay, so back cover, front cover and then the three tags for the inside, like so. So we're already getting a nice little pile here. We're gonna do the pockets and labels tomorrow, I think that's what we'll do. So now our front and back covers are done. Our inside pages are done. So we've got, we've got a good amount done. Um, we also need to kind of work out where we're putting pockets, where we're going to attach other things, um, which is something that I will do tomorrow. So um, thanks for joining me. I will see you all again soon. Bye. Um, I These are now nice and flat. They've been under a book, not overnight, but all day, pretty much most of the day. And I have done two things. I've gone through and I have placed some pockets in place where I'd like them to go. Now I cut them all four inches wide, the width of my tag, um, and then I just cut them the height depending on what the image was. The other thing I have done is I have cut out another tag. So our tag was uh, four inches by seven. I've made this three inches, uh, an inch smaller all the way around. So it's three inches by six inches. And then I used the same um, template to cut the corners. We're going to work on that. Um, and I'm just going to go through and show you the pockets I've got. So I've got this pocket that I'm going to add here. Okay. And then that's that. That will fold over. I've got this pocket, which is gonna go here, and I know I'm covering up some of that, but you kind of have to weigh up your pros and cons. 
haven't got anything here i've got a plan for this page and then this is the back so i've got a pocket there and i have a double pocket here the bottom one being text but we're still going to add to that and then that's our back page so what i'm going to do is put that aside and i'm going to work on this first so in all the bits where because i went through the book and cut out bits and pieces for tags okay which you saw already um but i found another couple of pieces and one of which the foxglove i think is going to fit on there perfectly so i've pulled out this is a photographic image rather than an illustration but i think that's going to work quite well so i'm going to i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to add this and that and hopefully i haven't double checked but hopefully the color coordination will go okay so the first thing i'm going to do is just cut should be perfect i want a little bit of that lighter kind of purple at the top so i'm okay with that put the glue stick away for a moment okay i'm going to trim this i'm going to find another scrap of card I've got plenty of them back here. This is the wood from the, the earlier session. This looks okay. I'm a proper glue now. Now we've done our collaging. And I'm gonna... necessarily sure about that I like the word introductions up there I'm just going to trim a little bit off the top here I'm going to have it that way round um, now the thing is I am going to sew around this so I'm probably going to sew right through that word I'm going to trim again this is a kind of haircut scenario isn't it when you like I think I've told the story before about when my dad cut my fringe not good okay i think that might work now i'm not inking anything at the moment i'm going to ink around the edges but i'm not inking all of the inside um, i'm going ink free there we go this i am going to ink around the edge that's going to go there let's just grab our front page and that's going to go on there it's a little bit purple for my liking. Might have to add a little bit more to this. I'm much, much happier with how this looks now. Much happier. It does need flattening. It does need to be um, put underneath something before I finish this off. So I'm going to put that aside and that's the, that's the front. So that's going to go over there. Now this one is the first one with a pocket. And I am going to put... A little tear in here the way that I've done with the others because Susie from Shabby Soul has done this and I just think it's so cute fold that over like so this has still possibly got a lot more to be done to it um, but I'm not inking I'm not inking so this is good to be glued 
I'm going to glue this into place. Okay, let's put that down. I'm going to fold the tag over just to make sure that's going to work well. Lovely. We're going to ink the outside of the tag. I'm just not inking the whole thing. So that is the second tag. Here we go for the third. And again, um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to fold down this corner. I'm not going for a tatty shabby kind of look. Um, I'm just wondering whether my sewing will go through that. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to just glue this tag around the edge. Close that for now. Just got a little bit to trim off here. Okay. That's that one. And now this one. This is going here. This one. I'm going to put a little notch out of that and glue this one into place. And trim this. And then this is our last pocket. And I'm going to put a little tear in here. like that this one I'm going to leave as is and let's glue this it goes from one extreme to the other it's, it's freezing so put the heating on and then the heating comes on and then you're hot <laughs> Okay, so that one is now got a double pocket. Oh, it's coming, coming together. So that's going to be the front. And then we're going to have this. And we are going to have this. And this. There's going to be something here. And then this. And then that's that. So, brilliant. That's it for today. I think we've done quite a lot. I will have this under a pile of books all night and I will be back tomorrow.